what's cracking guys and today we're gonna be looking at some fun things that you can do with every character in Genshin Impact not necessarily combat related but things that are kind of unique to each character and give them that pinch of what makes them something special so first off we have the traveler who has three separate forms but first we're gonna do the Amino Traveler who's able to swirl characters together in a Rasengan it's pretty cool and all the elements pop out everywhere I find that truly fascinating the next cool thing that they're able to do is just have that unique tornado that sucks in all enemies and spits them out somewhere else and of course now we get to go with the Geo element here which is rather neat because he's the only character that you can switch on command and what is he able to do? Well, he's able to summon these big meatballs. That's right, these big old meatballs that can block paths just anywhere you like. And it comes with an extra feature if you have a Zongli where you're able just to uh, create, well, let's just say the whole picture. And of course, they're Geo Constructs. So Geo Constructs are very fun if you can make them because you can climb on most of them. And finally, the Electro Traveler. Yes, he can become Electro and in the future all the other elements. And what he's able to do is leave these little Electro Balls around, which give energy to other people. And that's about it. Next, we have Lisa. For her, you have to make sure that you switch the language to Japanese, all right? And make sure you turn the audio up nice and loud for you to hear. And then after that, you have to go to the nearest cliff and just listen. <sighs> Oh, that's nice. Next, we have Amber. And, well, she has something cool with her little barren bunny, which is able to taunt enemies and explodes. Really nothing else quite like that, besides, I guess, some Mona things, and I guess Ganyu's taunt. But, I mean, the barren bunny's much cooler because it dances, all right? And that, that alone is pretty neat. Kaya, well, he's known for building ice bridges, okay? A mechanic that doesn't really pop up in the game. But he's able to consistently build those ice bridges so you can cross those long territories of water with ease. Next, we have Razor, who is known for a simple very thing of mining. That's right, he's the free to play miner extraordinaire by holding his ease, able to pop all the rocks in the local area. He also has a really cool stand. All right, when you fight enemies, having a stand is pretty freaking chill. Ningguang. Now, she's pretty neat because she's got this Geo Construct that blocks all incoming Archer effects. So you have a wall, a literal Donald Trump wall, that's able to block all incoming projectiles. Pretty cool. If it takes enough damage, it explodes, though. I mean, she also has the cool thing of rotating rocks on the map. So, you know, being able to find those mineral nodes, pretty cool. She's also able to pop them herself, which is pretty neat. Next, we have Sucrose, who's capable of instantly evaporating enemies. Okay, maybe that's just a bug. All right, but serious, uh, Sucrose <laughs> can actually bundle a bunch of enemies together with her E. And, you know, she's able to swirl enemies just with regular attacks. Zhang Ling is kind of cool because she has a bear that doesn't really hit targets that well. Uh, but she also has a Pyronado that circles around her. And uh, that's pretty cool. But also, if you happen to warp somewhere else while the Pyronado is active, it will pop up exactly where you are <laughs> so i mean that's kind of cool how it just does that it follows you like a little pet barbara she's kind of interesting because when you use her e she automatically makes you wet and not in the lewd way but also anything you touch while it makes you wet but it has downsides of while being wet you can get frozen by things like cryo anything and sometimes it's a bit of a detriment but it can also be very helpful because pyromages, you can literally touch them with yourself and take out their shields. Next, we have Chong Yun, who's able to infuse anything in his little AoE with the cryo element. Any normal attack, he can make it cryo, which is pretty cool. Also, another thing with his little cryo element there, he's able to slash around with his sword and just make anything into a cryo ice bridge, even while outside of the radius for a little while which is a nice little bonus. You don't have to always be in it. Yanfei, she can, um, well, she doesn't really do anything. I, I'm sorry, this is the one character that's not really unique or special. I, I, I really, I, I struggle. I can't find anything fun with her. 
Cujo Sarah, she's got this really cool effect thing of being able to be like a little Bennett buffer where you stand in that thing and it explodes and gives you a buff. That's kind of neat. You know, she also is capable, if you have a C2, of just tapping in. You also get the buff there, which is, you know, kind of neat, I guess. She also got an underboob, which is, you know, nice. Next, Chi Chi. Again, kind of like Kaya, but you could just tap E once, and she will automatically have a little get out of jail free card thing that bundles around and makes an ice bridge for you. And that's kind of nice because it lasts quite a bit before it goes away, so, you know, you can get out to the sea a little bit before you start swimming a little bit further, but. You know, if once you're out there, yeah, you're gonna have to swim back to shore, and there's no easy way out. Zinyan, uh, besides being the most neglected character, she gets this cool little shield that damages while also protecting. That's pretty unique, having a thing that pulsates and damages at the same time while protecting. Child, he's got two different weapon types. One of the only characters in the game to have that, where he can use a bow, but he can also switch his form and become a melee character. Which, you know, there's no other character that kind of does that. I mean, Ball does, but I mean, sh she's still melee no matter what. Bennett, on the other hand, is kind of neat because his E skill changes depending on how long you hold it in different various forms. You can tap it, you can hold it once, and then if you have a constellation, you're able to do a nice little dive, which is pretty cool. But if you hold it for its max duration, you get the biggest cool thing that spundles down and hits an enemy, but it also knocks you back. And of course, he has the cool ult, which, you know, heals and also boosts your damage by a significant margin. And I mean an absolute significant margin. Zing Chu is really cool because he has this one ability that it basically allows him to get hit, but take no damage. He can out heal the damage he takes, you know? So, you know, even getting hurt, he's able just to recover. Like, these these Hillichurls cannot hurt him. <laughs> he also has really cool this rain cutter thing that always applies Hydro. One of, the, one of the coolest ults in the game that constantly applies Hydro. And it's just so useful that many Pyro supports depend solely on him to perform. Beto, one of the most interesting characters in the game with their full counter ability. Being able just to take a hit and fully just soak it up and throw it right back at it at the enemy. Lickety split, really cool. She's also super good on bosses that come down, able to hit them on impact, such as the wolf boss. The wolf boss literally can't touch her. Now, Fischl's really neat because she's got this bird Oz, which she's able to summon and resummon wherever she dang well pleases. It functions as a turret, and it's best when you can aim it, though, for more damage and it will shoot and destroy anything without you having to play the game. It also has this really weird quirk where it wants to attack anything on field. Um, <laughs> Oz just doesn't like barrels, and he also doesn't like cooking pots. I don't, it's, it's kind of strange. Diona, on the other hand, has these heat-seeking missiles that will attack even, like, furry critters out there, so it's like free meat. That's, I mean, that's kind of neat. She also has a really useless cryo ability where she can't really stand on the water for that long. It just, it just doesn't work. It's useless. D. Luke has one of the most unique abilities in the game where you can tap it three times for three separate different attacks, which is uh, one of the most unique things in the game. He also has a really cool ult that shoots at a screaming eagle that's able to hit things millions of miles away on the screen. It also infuses his weapon for a good amount of time with Pyro. So, you know, you always have the Pyro element when he whacks things with his normal attacks. Now, Sayu, really nice because when infused with Cryo, she can make her own personal ice bridge across the water, which is really good. And sometimes it's not the, you know, the best, but it does work. <laughs> it's just a bit janky. Also, when running, you can use her E ability, so it doesn't consume stamina. So she'll always be able to roll around for a significant while, and it's even faster than her sprinting speed. So, you're just able to roll around a lot quicker and move around the map. Noel, she's really neat because she has a shield which absorbs damage because it's based on her defense, so she can be extraordinarily tanky and take a huge beating. Also, a certain constellation can pop and do some damage. But, she has, I arguably, one of the coolest ults in the game, being able to have a ju giant laser sword, <laughs> which also heals you. Rosara, Pretty cool because she's able to warp behind enemies that are small. That's about it. Clay's rather fun because she is a catalyst user that functions like a Claymore user is able to break down Geo things with it. 
She also has this unique ability being able to juggle huge monsters with her charged attacks and render them completely useless. Granted, there's enough damage on them. Hu Tao's rather neat because she hurts herself it, while hitting her E button to do more damage and she wants to be below 50% HP. But she makes up for the fact by being able to heal herself through her ultimate vampire abilities. Yoimiya has a really useless low damage charge attack, but it is really neat because it locks onto, say, small critters and anything in the way. It'll even lock onto just random cats. Even when you don't aim anywhere near them, it will circle in and attack cats. But if it's not able to hit it, it can circle around for a good amount of time and be like a little cool fireworks show. Now, Kaching, one of the best units for climbing and moving around in the game for vertical momentum because she's able to throw a stiletto and just climb things effortlessly. Really good for going around in the world and just exploration. A lot of people also forget that her ult gives her a 50% extra crit. So, you know, she also just gets free crit rate just, just by being her. The Raiden Shogun, rather unique because, well, she has this really cool ultimate that deals a lot of damage, but also pulls out a booba sword. And we all like booba swords, okay? I mean, she also has a really unique thing of the best cleavage in the game, arguably. Ayanka, the best water traveler in the game, being able to dive under the water into like a puff of ice and being able to travel infinitely on water thanks to her E ability, which will freeze around her, get, granting her some ability to rest, regain her stamina, being able to go on the water again, and then pop back up into a nice cryo little platform and then quickly pop her E and then she again, again can travel infinitely on the water this way. Jean is arguably one of the funnest units in the game, being able to suck up enemies and being able to yeet them into obstacles for instant death. Really gratifying, it's really neat. She's also able to sometimes suck some of these enemies up, make them drop something and then, you know, of course yeet them, but then, you know, oh, you get a little present with it. But, oh no! <laughs> oh god! She also has a really cool ability being able to knock enemies in the air, suck them down for fall damage, knock them back up and in the air again, and then take more fall damage. Venti, one of the best characters here, being able to create his own wind currents and allow characters to plunge downward and deal damage, at least until the wind current goes away, which it lasts for quite a while. He also has the best sucking ability in the game where it's so wide, literally everything in a five mile radius gets sucked into his ult. It's so broken. Our boy Zhao, he's able to cross giant reefs of land just by spamming his E ability for massive horizontal momentum. He's also able to jump up with his ult super high and scale things. Mona, again, she also has the ability to, to go on water. She also can stop while in the middle of a sprint like Ayaka. And you can also infinitely move on water this way too, just by tapping the forward button. And you know, you'll slow, you'll move slowly, but you'll be inf infinitely able to sprint. She also really has a really cool taunt ability. And I think taunts are great in this game. Her ult is also rather unique, where it's able to CC them into a perpetual state of being able to do nothing. <laughs> so that's pretty neat, watching them being absolutely helpless in that state. It also has a surprising amount of vertical momentum being able to hit enemies well above and also well below. Ganyu is literally capable of destroying anything from super far away with her little bazooka rocket launcher. She also has a very nice booba design. I mean, god damn, she thick. Gilo's kind of interesting because she has one of the most unique ultimates in the game where it's kind of like a delayed ultimate and a super delayed ultimate Depending on how many times you hit an enemy, it'll pop for even more damage. Kaza is the best explorer by far because he's able just to leap back up into the air infinitely with his easy jump ease. He's also able to double swirl elements and grant huge amounts of bonus elemental damage. And he's, he's just crazy good for that reason alone. Zongli is by far the best miner in the game, having a huge radius with his hold E ability, being able to suck up all crystals in a long radius with ease. He also is able to uh, use geo constructs and give them pings, which pairs exceptionally well with albedo, being able to deal albedo's damage as well as cause the pings, just by doing absolutely nothing, just standing still, doing damage. Pretty cool. Albedo is also able to use that flower to, 
you know, jump up in the air, which is rather nice. And, you know, he's able to dodge enemies just by standing up here and abuse them and shoot them with archers when they can't do anything. Really fun that way. Anyway, that's some fun things that you can do with every single character in the game. Yeah, so far right now. And I mean, Alloy's not technically out. <laughs> so, I, she's out for people on the PS4, not for me, so I'm not able to play with her. Now, I haven't discussed some of the fun things that you're able to do with two characters, or possibly even three characters at once, but maybe that's a video for another time. But hopefully, this grants some new life to some characters, maybe granted you some knowledge, and I hope it's able to make you enjoy some of your characters a little bit more. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you beautiful sons of guns again next time.